Hello everybody and welcome to the solution of this week's tutorial. Here's our problem. We have a bunch of files showing the date and species of some observations of marine creatures. On the left we've got Jacques Cousteau's, on the right we've got Steve Haddock's. What we want to do is merge all of these files together to produce a table like the one shown here. We sorted it by date and creature and it shows us how many creatures of each kind we saw on each date. So let's put this away. As before, we're going to use yellow for the terminal window and white for our editor window, just to keep the two clear. In this directory, we've got our two data files. So if we cat custo.txt, we can see Jacques' data. And if we cat haddock.txt, we can see Steve's data. Now there's two ways we could do this. One is just using command line tools. If we do something like cat custo.txt and haddock.txt, that just joins the two files together on the screen. If we run that through sort, it sorts all of the lines. And if we run that through unique, it gets rid of duplicates. If we do it through unique dash C, it gives us a count of how often each kind of line was seen. This is almost what we want. The problem is we've got these two lines, the comments in the original data files beginning with the hash characters. How can we get rid of those? Well, one possibility would be to run our current output through grep, that's the thing that finds lines in a file that match patterns. In this case, because we're using a pipe, it'll look in standard input and say, I don't want, that's what dash V is for, the hash character. And I have to put it in quotes because the hash character is in fact the comment character for the shell. If I leave out the quotes, my line will stop right there because everything after will be interpreted as a comment. So I put my pattern in quotes, which is a good practice anyway. If I do that, I've now got the table of number of observations, date, species, number of observations, date, species. And I did that all using standard command line tools. I could compress this down a bit like this. I could say grep dash v hash custo.txt and haddock.txt. That will select all the lines that don't include the hash character from all of those named files and then run that through sort and unique. So rather than catting the files, sorting, getting the unique lines with counts, and then getting rid of the hash characters, I'll get rid of the hash characters first, rather get rid of the lines with hash characters, and then sort and unique that. That gives me, oops, that's no good. I've got file names there. Well, the problem now is that grep by default shows you the file name if you've got multiple file names. But I can do dash H to get rid of the file names, and now I've got the output that I wanted. That's approach number one. How would I do this in Python? Well, let's switch over to the Ender window, import the system library. I'm going to say file names is sys.argv from index one onto the end of the list, because index zero is the name of my program, for f in file names. Reader is, let's open that file in read mode. Uh, do something, that's not legal Python, but I'll come back and fill that in. Let's put that in a comment. And then reader.close. And then down here I will summarize the results. This is a very common pattern. For each file in a set, open it, do something, and close it. Now I can compress this down like that. I don't need to store sys.argv1 to the end of the list in a variable with its own name. I personally prefer to do it that way to make it easier to read. Now what am I going to do with these lines? Well I'm going to say for line in the reader, okay, do something with the line. Okay, what am I going to do here? Well first thing I'm going to do is say if line dot starts with the hash character then pass. Don't do anything with it because anything that starts with the hash character is a comment line and I don't want to keep that. Otherwise, I need to take a look at my data files. So let's go and take a look at custo.txt. The line starts with a hash. I'm going to throw it away. Otherwise, I'm going to split and get date and species. So I will say date and species is line.split. I'm expecting that I'm going to get two fields back from line.split, so I can just assign it directly to two variables. Now I need to store those somewhere. So let's say results is an empty dictionary. Now the key in my dictionary is going to be something like date and species. That's a tuple 
because I'm using parentheses rather than square brackets. And if you take a look at our tutorial online, we explain that a tuple is really just a list that can't be changed after it has been created. And that means it's safe to use it as the key in a dictionary. So there's my key, and I'm going to say if key is in results, then results of key equals results of key plus one. Otherwise, results of key is one. If I've seen this combination of date and species before, add one to the count. Otherwise, set the count to one. Now, some people find it clearer to do it in this order. If I haven't seen the key before, set the value to one. Otherwise, add one to it. And if you're going to do this, it probably makes sense to write it as plus equals one. That means add one to the thing on the left. So now I've read all my files and processed all of the lines. How do I summarize the results? Well, I can say all combos, all combinations, is a list of all the unique keys in the dictionary. I can sort that in place. Remember, the list sort method changes the list in place. It doesn't create a new list. And then I can say for key in all combos count is results of key print count and key so let's have a look at what this does this is my whole program this bit is read and merge data this bit is format output so let's switch windows there's my new python program merge.py if I merge just one file, let's see which one is longer. Oh, Cousteau is the short file. It's only got four lines of data, so I should see one occurrence of marlin on the 27th, two tunas on the 29th, and one turtle on the 29th. Okay, python, merge.py, Cousteau.txt. And it says, one occurrence of marlin, two of tuna, and one of turtle. And I think those are in the right order. So it looks like my program did the right thing on the very first try, except, of course, I've got this parenthesis and the quote there. I've got the closing quote and parenthesis there. It's printing the tuple as a tuple. What I want to do is pull those fields out of the tuple. So let's switch back to my editor and say print count key 0 and key 1, because this tuple has two fields, the date and the species. And if I flip back here, that will be key 0 and key 1. Okay, let's see, I've made that one change. Oops, I haven't saved my file. My editor down here is telling me that I haven't saved it. Always a bad idea to make changes and not save them because then you're not testing what you thought you were. Okay, this looks better. There's my counts, there's my dates, there's my species. What if I give it another file name? Okay, that looks like it might be right. Let's rerun that and then let's do history, pipe to grep, grep. What am I doing there? Well, I'm looking for history commands where I used the command grep because I'm searching grep for the string grep. Okay, so command 532 is the last time I ran this to use just the standard shell tools to get an answer. So I'm going to say bang 532, that produces that. Then I'm going to up arrow to that, and that produces that. Now the indentation's not quite the same, but let's see if the results are. 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. Okay, that looks good. Marlin, Marlin, squid, yep. Eel, squid, tuna, yep. Turtle, squid, turtle. I'm not going to check the dates, except the last one is March 31st, and the one for tuna is the 29th. Okay, I believe this program is correct. Hope this was clear. Please send us questions. Thank you.